Assalamu alaikum my dear students welcome to NIEVS online platform NIEVS home school I am Rahila Feddosi assistant teacher English day shift today I am going to have a class with the students of class 9 our today's subject is career education our today's subject is career education this is a totally new subject for you and today we are going to read chapter 1 our today's lecture is lecture number is one and our today's topic is chapter one today we will discuss page one to nine now let's come to our chapter chapter one is about me and my career career education is a vast subject to understand this we did many kinds of activities in the previous classes from class 6 to class 8. We also tried to understand how those activities are related to our life. Here we will study some specific and necessary topics on career building. The career education and the concerned activities will help us to identify the strategies of searching and building up the right career. By the end of the chapter, we will be able to explain the concept and development of career education. Number two, describe the rationale of studying career education. Number three, ascertain personal likings and disliking of career. Number four, determine the relation of career with personal interest, competency and values. Number five, explain the outline of future career. Number six, design a posture on the planning of own future career. Number seven, realize the importance of personal interest and skills in career building. And number eight, be interested in gaining the attitudes and personal values necessary for building such career. Now the first thing is concept of career. To understand the concept of career well, it is necessary to be clear about the other topics related to it. Let us get familiar with the following words. Do these words have the same meanings of or different ones? What is the meaning of employment? Is there any difference between job and profession? Is there any and what is the difference? Which conception is elaborate or vast? Career or group? Okay, to do, get some questions, you can do some group work. Now see, it is very difficult to determine a clear difference among these concepts of career. These concepts are related to one another. Besides, we use these concepts for referring to the same meaning in everyday life. For example, we frequently say, my father is a farmer, cultivation is his work. Again, we can say it is his profession, but there are some differences among these words. Therefore, we are trying to understand these differences. Now, read the situation below and answer the questions after discussions. The conceptions will be clearer to us after doing the next activities. Now, we will read a case study. Nirupoma is the executive director of a prominent NGO of Noto district. She has been promoted this month. Therefore, her colleagues have arranged a function to congratulate her. Waking up early in the morning, Nirupoma is working in the garden and thinking about what she will say in the function. She is thinking that she will start talking about her dream of engaging the rural women in self-employment. She has cherished this dream since her student life. Then she will say how she has ended her study in political science in a college to fulfill her dream. Nirupama's father wanted her to be a doctor, but she wished to work in an NGO. She wanted to study in social welfare, which is closely related to her work but she didn't get chance. After appearing the admission test, she got the opportunity to study political science and finished the Har bachelor's and master's programs. 
After that, by doing various short courses and training programs, she has acquired the competency needed for joining in the NGO. Then she joined in an NGO as a field officer. Though there Nirupama worked with child education, she actually wanted to work for employment of rural women. She continued trying to get better opportunities. For this, she gave various interviews and examinations in different NGOs. At last, she got the opportunities to join as a program officer in a small NGO. After three years, she got the opportunity to join the present NGO. This organization is well reputed for creating opportunity of self-employment for the rural women. She has been promoted quickly, though her gradual attainment of experience and skills. Sorry, not though through. She has been promoted quickly through her gradual attainment of experience and skills. Today, Nirupama can remember the whole way to fulfill her dream. The way was of hard labor and dedication, but of course successful. She picks up a rose from the garden and places it in the vase. This is also the result of laborious effort. Let's get into small group and try to answer this question from the above situation. What will we say the work that Nirupama is doing in the garden? Is it work, profession, vocation, job or career? How is your answer different from other types? Number two. Which one of the professions, occupations, work, jobs or career includes the profession of physician or working in an NGO? Why? Number three, Nirupama occupied in various posts at different times while working in the NGOs such as field officer, program officer, executive director. What can we say this? Are the work, profession, vocation, job or career? Justify your opinion. You can justify yourself. We can get a clear conception after reading the lessons. Okay, now come. The meaning of work is vast. In fact, any mental or physical activity for serving any purpose is work. It may be earning, it may be for earning or without earning money. So for work, we may be, we may earn money or not. But when we do any work, it, that is work. Profession is indeed the work which requires person's special education and training. So for profession, we need person's special education and training. Without special education and long-term training, if man earns money, we term it vocation. So whenever Without special education or long-term training, man earns money that is called vocation. It may be or may not be related to career, but profession is closely related to career. These two concepts are close to each other. As for example, we can say that the people who design a house are professionals and the people who build it are the men of vocation. Now let us match the following description with the concepts got by the discussion. Work. Generally, doing anything is called work. It is an elaborate concept which includes any kind of activity. What man is to do in job, profession or career is some kind of work or other. Outside this, what man does in everyday life, such as studying, eating, exercising, marketing, etc., we say all these work in general. Job. The definite post which man occupies in workplace is called job, such as physician in a government hospital, gardener in the district administration office, guard of a school, and assistant in a hospital laboratory, etc. Vocation and profession. Sometimes the words vocation and profession are used for the same meaning. However, there is a little difference between these two words. 
vocation and profession. In the field of profession, institutional education and training are required, which common vocation does not need. Such as the architect who designs a building needs to receive education and training in architecture. So it is his profession. On the other hand, the laborer's work is called vocation. Career. Career is the combined shape of all kinds of work, professions, jobs, or the experience of life which a man gains in his whole life. Now let us do one more activity that is individual work. We will see here Nirupoma's dream of helping self-employment of the rural women. For that she had to um, pass education life training as a field officer in NGO, then training and as a program officer in NGO. Later she again uh, did some short course and training and at last she come to the to this job as the executive director in NGO. So now we have to do this work 15 years as NGO worker. What, is, what was it? It was his it was his profession. It was his profession. Later 25 years of Nirupoma. That is her career. That is her career. Then every day of Nirupoma, that are, that are the works, that are the works which she does every day. Okay. Now there is a project for you. There are people of different professions and vocations around us. We can know about their professions and vocations from them. We shall try to find out people of different professions and vocations and know the information related to their professions by this project. It will help us know the different kinds of professions and choose our own profession in future. Let us do. Number one, all in the class write down the names of different professions on the board. If any profession is repeated, erase that and write the names of different professions as many as possible. Number two, now let us get into small groups and each group will choose one profession for the project. Number three, let us collect the following data from newspapers, websites such as bdjobs.com, jobsa1.com, etc. Here, what kind of posts or jobs are found in the advertisements? What are the responsibilities and duties to perform? What are the maximum qualifications usually asked? What kinds of experience and how long are asked? How is the salary structure? What definite skills are needed? Other things, if you think that is necessary. On a certain day, each group will present all necessary information with chart, picture, graph, cartoon, posters, etc. at a certain place in the classroom. Collected magazines, newspapers, advertisements, pictures, etc. should be with them. Number five, now different groups will move and see others' presentations. If possible, you can invite the learners of class six, seven, or eight. Now you have you will have seen that the duties and responsibilities of people of different professions and job holders are different. So the requisite skills and educational qualification, etc., for their work are also different. The people of each profession can be beneficial to the society. So we should be respectful to the people of all professions. It is our responsibility to behave well with them and help them in their work. Career development. A few definitions of career are given below. Indeed, a man's all activities related to his profession during his life and the ways in performing these activities are his career. It is the combination of various jobs, posts, works, honor and experience. A career is one or more than one kinds of jobs which a man does due to professional reason for a long period of his life. A career is the gradual course of lifelong development or a definite part of life. Analyzing the characteristics of a career, we can understand that the matter is not something stable, rather changeable. It is better to say development instead of change, because change of a career is expected to be orderly, aim-based, stays by stays and well-balanced. For this reason, we will have to develop our career stage by stage. 
various stages of career development or the stages of planning are given below. First, knowing oneself. It is very important to know oneself for moving forward on the way to career. We will move forward in every stage considering my own interest, liking, disliking, skills or competency, values, etc. If most of the time, if most of the time of life we can do the work which we like, it makes us happy. Again, the work for which we have no interest, if we do it, there is less prospect of doing better. Knowing about various varieties of professions, vocations and jobs. Only to know oneself is not enough. We will have to find out the profession or the vocation suitable for our own choice and skills and make ourselves fit. We will have to know what skills, competency, training, experience, etc. are important for career building. We will have to know what kind of jobs we get in certain profession or vocation and what duties we are to perform, etc. Proper information about various professions and jobs will help us choose the right profession or job. Determining aim and objective to plan accordingly. It is essential to determine aim and objectives in career development. If we have definite aim, we can choose vocation or profession and plan clearly for its preparation. As a result, planning is done successfully on the way to career. So we can proceed to career successfully. Sometimes, in spite of having enough competency and interest, career is affected owing to lack of definite, definite goal and planning. Suppose you have determined a goal of your career, then what will you do to achieve the goal? Of course, it needs definite competency and skills for a definite profession or vocation. You will have to achieve this. These are achieved through various kinds of educational qualifications, experience of co-curricular activities, training, institutional and non-institutional experiences. It is not only necessary for entertaining into a definite vocation or profession. Continuing in any profession or vocation for becoming successful in that profession or vocation or upholding the success, we need to achieve new competency and skills. Looking for job We often hear that someone is looking for a job. Again, we find various job advertisements in newspapers and the internet. When a person wants to do a job, they submit application evaluating the advertisements published through these mediums. For this, a person needs enough attention and patience. Considering own competency, skills, interests, values, etc., one needs to apply for the concerned job. It is necessary to prepare a curriculum beta, that is CV, mentioning own educational qualification and professional experience. In this case, it is important to mention one's skills, experience and competency clearly. Sometimes the concerned job providing organization calls him for written exams, viva voce or interviews. In that case, enough preparation is necessary. Changing jobs. A person changes a job for different reasons. Among these, an important cause is to get an opportunity of better a job. We know that career does not mean any definite job or profession, rather it means the combination of different jobs and experience on the way to life. So considering the change in own interest, liking, skills, etc., trying for a new job is a part of career. Career development is seen in various ways, such as linear development. The promotion from a lower to an upper post in a particular job is means linear development of a career. For example, after joining as an assistant secretary, one is gradually promoted to the post of a secretary. Skill-based development. In this case, a person's gradual development in a definite work or subject is considered greatly. For instance, a teacher's teaching of science is a continuous practice of skills and its increase is a kind of skill development. 
spiral development a person's knowledge skills and experiences develop gradually in course of time it is called spiral development of a career in this case a person starts his work with a definite subject in a specific work class and day by day does various kinds of work with various skills along with different experience in newer workplaces Suppose a science teacher besides science received training in information and communication technology. Next, he trained the other teachers of another school in information and communication technology. Thus, spiral development of his career started. Dynamic or continuous development. In this case, a continuous or huge change is seen in a person's career. He works with different subjects or in different kinds of workplace at different times. These changes take place disorderly. Suppose that science teacher receiving higher education in management takes another job. After a few years changing that, he receives education in library science and is appointed as a chief librarian of a library. These multiple changes of his career are called continuous development. It is important to remember that all kinds of development in a career are possible in a person's life, but sometimes a definite pattern can be noticed. Career outline or model. Psychologist Donald Super establishes a model in the context of gaining experience and on the basis of changing of man's concept about himself in course of time. It is called life rainbow because these states are arranged like a rainbow. So psychologist Donald Super has established this model and this is called life rainbow. Okay, because the states are here arranged like a rainbow. So what can we see in the rainbow? Here in the rainbow we can see, first we can see the growth of a man or a baby like this is the ages these are the ages at the age of five what can we see here is a baby then at the age of 10 after the birth it is the, uh, the baby is growing so he is getting the growth later at the uh, age of 15 to 24 there is exploration he may get married and ha has his life partner later there is establishment they have baby they have to maintain the family then they have to main they are there they have to maintenance in at the age of 45 to 64 they are the maintenance of all the things of a family of the society of the uh, management or the career everything they have to manage here then after 65 the decline starts in our life so in this here what can we see that first we are a child later we are a student and then we can get some laser period later we become a citizen worker and then we are parent this held up to 45 what do we need for that in this uh, in the development of this life we need some uh, lifestyles some factors are responsible for all these things what are that environmental determinants labor market, employment practices, situation determinants, historical, socioeconomic, then part, there are some personal determinants that are psychological, biological. So there we find three types of determinants. One is environmental, second situation, third is personal. All these are the life rainbow of us. So here we will find them in details. First, the stage, first step, growth. The first step is growth. And the characteristics of growth is a concept grows about oneself. A concept about a common world of attitude, need and work develops. Then second step, searching. Examining various kinds of work, acquiring skill with the change of liking. Third step, stability reaching a permanent position by attaining competency for entering into a job and experience. Fourth step, maintenance. In the continuous endeavor and change and adaption for developing one's own position. And fifth step, reflection. They are declining the results or benefits preparation for retirement.
Though Donald Super has divided the stages according to age, these stages may vary from person to person. So my dear students, this was all for our today's class. You must read this for at your home for a very good idea about this. You should stay at home, stay safe. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.